Have you ever noticed that being near an ocean, a scenic lake, or a rolling river seems to make your stress just melt away? Well, it turns out there is real science behind it. A new book, a new book rather, Blue Mind, explains this restorative effect. Ben Tracy visited the author at his home. Most of us know that feeling of calm we get when we're on, in, or just near the water. And this is what you want if you're in a, the midst of a stressful week. You just want to hit that big blue reset button and, and get out here. Jay Nichols is a marine biologist and conservationist who lives near the central coast of California. He spent much of his professional life trying to protect endangered sea turtles. Now he's exploring the scientific reasons for why humans have such a deep connection with the deep blue. There are all these cognitive and emotional benefits that we derive every time we spend time by water. Nichols has dubbed it our blue mind, the mildly meditative state our brains enter when exposed to water. Did you worry initially that people were going to dismiss you as the guy from California, this is all touchy-feely about how we love water? I was worried about that, and in fact, I think I was dismissed as that guy at first by, by some people. But once you get into it, you realize that it's chemistry, uh, it's biology, it's physiology. It's very, it's deeply personal, but it's also strong science. The science is still evolving, but Nichols' work is getting plenty of attention. He began hosting Blue Mind seminars that are attracting neurologists and psychologists from around the world. Using brain imaging, they have found that proximity to water floods the brain with feel-good hormones such as dopamine, serotonin, and oxytocin. Levels of the stress hormone cortisol actually drop. Scientists have also discovered that the brain prefers the color blue above all others, and water increases our ability to focus. When we look at this, it's not just that it's beautiful, we're having some sort of biological reaction to it. Yeah, our, our response to water is, is deep, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's human, it's, uh, um, it's about life, and it's about survival. In fact, our bodies consist of about 60% water, and our brains a whopping 75%. So when you see water, when you hear water, it triggers a response in your brain that you're in the right place. Now from rafting to kayaking to surfing, water therapy is increasingly being used to treat a variety of ailments, including wounded veterans suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder. And so is your ultimate hope that we look at the ocean not simply as a beautiful place to visit or a food source, but that it's a public health issue? Absolutely. I think connecting public health to healthy oceans uh, is critical. It helps you relax, just literally sucks the stress out of your body and out of your mind. So the next time you gaze into that blue horizon, you'll know that feeling you get really is all in your head. For CBS This Morning Saturday, Ben Tracy. Davenport, California. I definitely have a blue mind. I've always gone to the water when I needed to, you know, chill out. We need to ask Brian, we need a water element in studio. Yeah, That'd I like that nice. idea. A waterfall. Seems like it'd be cheap too, right? <laughs>